Hey guys, welcome to the 8GB RAM upgrade on my MacBook Pro. Um, got my 8GB of Corsair RAM. Um, just got them from Amazon. If you haven't seen that unboxing, check it out with the annotation right here. And uh, yeah, we're going to put it in. Um, I already took off the bottom side of my spec case because that was kind of a pain. Um, and now I'm going to unscrew these screws really, really fast. So let's do it. couple tips here. A um, couple things. When you're installing RAM, um, first off, I've never done it on a unibody um, MacBook Pro, but I have built hundreds of computers because um, I do that for one of my jobs. And one of the things I like to do is, I don't know if you guys can see all these, but uh, around the laptop, um, I just placed all the screws directly um, off the hole. And make sure you have a large flat surface. Normally, um, a carpet covered surface would be even better because it'd be um, nothing would slide around, but uh, this will do for now. And just make sure that you keep all the screws lined up so you know exactly where they go. Um, because like Apple, you can't just get replacement screws easily. Um, I mean, you can, but it, you have to order them, and that's not fun. So, um, let's just take off the bottom here. That's the best way to do this. Maybe? There we go. So that just pops off. Ta-da! All right, so that is a beast of a computer. Actually, let's, while I'm doing this, um, let me just explain a couple of the parts for those of you who've never seen the inside of a MacBook Pro. First off, you got two fans here. You got the optical drive, the uh, hard drive, which is incredibly easy to replace, and uh, a giant battery. Um, this actually looks really slick. It's amazing how electronics every single year can just get so much more advanced and so much better. Um, now, here we should just be able to there we go. Pop those sides out, and this one will come out. So there's the uh, two gigabyte stick, um, and then we just do it the next one too, and that should come out as well without an issue. Hold on. Yeah, I'm on, buddy. There we go. Okay, so it's basically, it's an interesting motion. Um, you stick it in and then you press it down, um, which is different than I've installed RAM before. Um, but one thing you want to do is you want to make sure you've washed your hands before you do this, and you want to make sure that you've touched something metal um, to uh, de-staticify your, de I don't know. Get rid of the static on your hands. Um, and then from there, you, I can get the RAM actually out of this package. You guys can't see me struggling. But... It's it's coming slowly. Come on, please. Anytime now. There we go. There's one stick, and there's two. That took too much force. Um, all right. So um, label sides are always go up, and you'll notice that with DDR3 they always have one notch, and the notch will always line up to the slot. So um, basically, from here you just press it in, and then you push down. Apple makes it really easy. Um, I mean, the Unibody design is fantastic, and this motherboard is a lot nicer to deal with. Um, my old MacBook, you would have to take out the battery, and then the, you'd have to remove this little slot, and uh, then you would have to push them in really, 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 really hard. Um, that RAM tutorial upgrade, or that RAM, I think I still have it on YouTube, but uh, it took some effort. And voila, I mean, it's that easy. Oops, hold on. I lied. That one wasn't pushed in all the way. But, uh, yeah, make sure there's no gaps or anything. Um, that's another thing I should have mentioned. And try not to touch the circuitry too much. Um, and you should be good. But, yeah, just make sure you push it in, push it down. They lock in place. I mean, there's a little bit of, uh, but that's about it. So, yeah, while I'm at, the, at it upgrading this, I thought I'd mention my next upgrades. So are probably going to be, um, I'm going to remove the optical drive and put in a SSD. Um, or flop these ones of the two with uh, one of... Uh, I can't remember what it is, but they have a kit to do it, and I really want to do that because uh, I don't really use the optical drive that much, and if I do, I can just plug it in via USB, and it would work fantastic. And instead, I would get a much, much faster Mac uh, overall, and I don't use CDs as it is, unless I'm burning one for the car. So, now that that is done, um, everything looks normal, uh, you put back on. 
on the piece of aluminum. Aluminium. Uh, just like that. It should fit just, just like it did before. And you screw this bad boy back up. Quick tip here I thought I'd mention uh, as I finish up here. Um, is you try and use a magnetic screwdriver. Most screwdrivers nowadays are. But uh, you'll notice that the screws are actually metal. And uh, the MacBook is not, so it's not an issue. And it makes screwing things in a hell of a lot easier. And these long ones, you can just stick them in before you screw them down because the threads are at the bottom, uh, not all the way through. Another nicety right there. Um, make sure they're nice and tight. Um, don't do it too hard because you don't want to strip them for future upgrades. Um, and yeah, that's really about it. Try not to hit your screwdriver on the Mac and ruin its nice aluminum finish. Uh, what other tips can I give you? Oh, always keep your old RAM. Um, the RAM that came with it, uh, it's, you know, the stock RAM. If you're going, if you, you know, going for a repair, Apple may or may not be like, hey, you know, you don't have the stock RAM, you might have installed it wrong. No, um, it's pretty hard to screw up. Um, the next step we're going to do here is test uh, the RAM to make sure it works correctly. And uh, after that, you know, you're free to enjoy all 8 gigabytes. Uh, a lot of people think that, you know, a faster processor is always better, um, and it is, uh, but when you're at a quad core and your Mac is still um, slowing down during certain things, like huge programs or, uh, like, I usually have 10 or 12 programs open um, at once, um, you know, it's, it's not the RAM that's the issue, or it's not the processor that's the issue, it's the RAM. Um, uh, there we go. I'll just snap right back on, and we have the final thing. So we're gonna open it up, turn it on. Um, it should, it'll probably take a lot longer um, than usual, mostly because it needs to recache everything that it's had cached before. So let me just focus this up. Apparently, my camera doesn't want to focus on a glossy black screen, so I'll do it manually. All right, and we hit the power button. And uh, if all goes well, it should take about a minute. Am I rambling? Let's see if it actually recognizes the 8 gigs. So we'll go under Apple, go under About This Mac, um, and there we go. I, I don't know how well you can see that, if you can see it at all, but here, I'll make it so you can see it. There we go. There we go, 8 gigabytes, 130 megahertz DDR3. Um, and the really cool part about uh, Lion is that they give you this cool new interface. Um, there we go, cool, cool new interface here um, that shows you it all as well. Uh, so it bumps up the Intel uh, uh, built-in graphics, I think. I think that was 300 something megabytes before this. Um, and you know, it should just function a hell of a lot faster. I should be able to open up Aperture and um, Final Cut Pro X without a problem. So that's really nice. So hopefully uh, after watching my video on how to install RAM on your brand new MacBook Pro, or MacBook, um, you know, you can have the performance you need with the, without the cost it up front. Like I said, a $30 or $39.99 on Amazon, so if you guys want to get cheap cheap RAM right here click click and uh, yeah it's a great deal your computer will be a lot faster it's noticeably faster it's not just in the background faster so uh, yeah hope, uh, once again hopefully that helped you hopefully you were able to install your RAM by yourself without any issues um, if not leave a comment below with your issue and maybe I can help you out um, uh, thank you for watching thanks for subscribing see you guys in the next video